Well, Cabinet Secretary there, Eugene Wamalo, just uh, addressing the hot issue of payments to farmers, which, as you know, did bring a lot of, uh, in, uh, actually, issues, a lot of issues did emerge out of this, where we did see a number of fictitious farmers claiming that they had supplied NCPB, and, uh, of course, this did uh, see the PS4 agriculture, that is, uh, Mr. Lesiampe, who was actually charged in court. But let's bring in our reporter, Mark Namaswa, who was at that particular press conference to just shed more light into this unfolding story. Good afternoon, Namaswa. Looking at the developments around this particular story, we are seeing uh, the government is claiming that uh, the money will be paid from next week, as we have had it from the cabinet secretary. But on the flip side, how will it be executed from the criteria that they'll be using to ensure that uh, all the farmers are paid? Now, Abby, it's quite important to mention that uh, maize and its derivatives, such as maize flour as well as uh, githeri, is like... Uh, bread to the French people. So maize is quite a, a touchy and uh, quite an important element, not only in, on our, on concerning our food security, but also the economy and regards to uh, maize farmers in the North Rift and other uh, grain baskets in the country. But uh, looking at the intrigues that have been around the production of maize and the payment, we'll, we, we have seen that uh, we had 1,154 1, farmers who are supposed to be uh, vetted. Now, looking at what we saw starting from the month of May is that there were fictitious farmers. People were able to supply maize from unknown sources claiming that they are farmers, and they were able to expedite their payment uh, to the level that they were able to be paid six in, in, in a record six-month uh, period, which is um, magical when it comes to the payment of farmers who are usually paid within one year. But again, uh, looking at uh, the info that we've gleaned concerning the hue and cry that came from genuine farmers concerning the infiltration of the maize industry is that out of 1154 farmers who were presented with forms so that uh, they can be verified, uh, 1140 were able to bring back their forms and then 900 farmers have been cleared for payment. Now, out of uh, this number, 226 farmers or fictitious farmers, people claim that they are farmers, will be up for investigation by the DCI to verify where they came from, where they got their uh, maize from, and how, how they are able to expedite their, their payment in, in record time. But again, now, uh, the other issue that came up concerning the payment of farmers, uh, th this uh, payment batch that uh, includes about 1.4 billion shillings, is that uh, um, out of uh, these farmers, we had the Strategic Food Reserve Board that had not been constituted. And looking at uh, what was coming up was that the tenure of the current members of the Strategic uh, Food Reserve Board had come to an end. And then we also had the intrigues concerning whether the Strategic Food Reserve Board sits in the Ministry of Devolution or the Ministry of Agriculture. And according to the Gazette notice that had been issued this morning is that uh, the Strategic uh, Food Reserve Board has been their tenure has been renewed and then now they have been placed under the Ministry of Agriculture. So according to CS for Devolution Eugene Wamalwa, the payments now will be coordinated directly from the Ministry of Agriculture starting from Monday. So from uh, now henceforth farmers will be looking at the Ministry of Agriculture in terms of the processing of their payments. Now another important uh, point to note is that Farmers, uh, small-scale farmers or small-scale uh, suppliers of maize will be given priority. So what we have gleaned from the press conference is that starting from Monday, those farmers whom the government owes 2 million shillings and below will be given priority. Abby. Very insightful update there and very timely indeed. Many thanks, Mark Namaswa, just shedding some more light into this unfolding story and we shall be giving you a more comprehensive report in our subsequent bulletins. Let's still stay on this story of the issues around the farmers being paid. Let's take it to Nandi County where the governor, Stephen Sang, is currently addressing members of the public. To the government, you want to have because we need them to help us fix those roads that they, are, they keep on messing up as they take their cane to the factory. So we want to say, Kama Serekani, agriculture is almost a hundred percent involved. 
Actually, what is left in Nairobi is policy making. And I know that when we were in the Senate, we agreed on and passed motions and you know resolutions to this effect. But every other time a budget is made, a lot of resources are being retained in Nairobi. Africa, as we speak right now, it has the highest number of state parasitos. And if you ask yourself, what are they doing? If parasitos mingi veja hapo in a Directors on a pay on a pull of shara. Employees are being employed every day. Lakini kazi ya kufanya iko chini. Kama sahi manana ya kuchunguza mchanga hapa. The acidity of the soil here. We have research institutions and ability of other people. What are they doing? Hapa badu ni serikali ya kauti badu na angana kufanya maneno hiyo. So we want to tell the national government that it is time that you let go the resources associated with agriculture, because that is a fully devolved function. Your four percent national budget, billion zaidi ya msini, to nataka zikuje county, ili tuweza kusaidia farmers out. NCPB should be the first one to be restructured na ijetwe kwa county government. Ili sisi tuweza kushikilia agriculture, tunajua farmers wetu ya kinanani, tunajua wakati wa planting season, because you will be shocked Professor Kamal, na wetakula, planting season yet to have an answer in Tofauti na Wasigishu. Na ni Tofauti na Tanzania. If national government continues to do the procurement of fertilizer, since it's a telewa hapa, because some of us, even in Nandi, the planting season in Moso is different from the planting season in Nandai. And therefore, this guy is just procure at the average planting season. That's how we say my average planting season. We get on a bank in January, we get in December, we get in February, we get in April. So at the end of the day, that is the time you realize, at the time we need to plant the fertilizer, to address it in a bit. Some of them are targeting other areas. Why don't you give county government the responsibility to procure and get this fertilizer back to our farmers? Then we in Nandi also understand our acidity for our soils. Then we will get the right fertilizer for our soils. It cannot be the same fertilizer from Transoia, Mount Elgon, Bungoma, all the way to Narok. It is not possible. So, Jambo let us accept that agriculture is devolved. Let those resources come to the county government. Then we sit down and ensure that we properly plan for them. Mimi, Kama Governor Wanandi, when I came in, as mentioned, the budget in agriculture was slightly less than 100 million. As we speak right now, we have pushed that to over 350 million. It is because we understand that this is the economy, this is the backbone of our economy as land account. We want to ensure that we increase and do value addition. But we are starting with dairy farming. We want to do value addition for our dairy. That is why your guests are here.